single Wisconsin town could be getting more money for police and roads. Wisconsin Republicans unveiling their plan to boost shared revenue. They also say they are ready to approve allowing Milwaukee County residents to raise their local sales tax. Jason Kelby live tonight with a closer look at where your tax money could be going. Hey, Mary, that announcement is taking place right behind me here at the Wisconsin Center. This is something that Milwaukee city and county leaders and businesses have asked for for years. They say without that increased local sales tax and without more state money, they will have to make drastic cuts to police and other services. Right behind me, gathering at the Wisconsin Center, are Republican state lawmakers and the Democratic mayor and the Democratic county executive. What we're announcing today is the single largest investment in local governments in the history of Wisconsin. That is something that all of us should be proud of because it's being done in a collaborative Wisconsin bipartisan way. So this announcement is taking place in Milwaukee. Earlier today, Republicans gathered at the state capitol to under unveil their statewide proposal. It's a problem you'll hear across the state. Of course, we know that the shared revenue pro process has been flawed, it's been broken. Wisconsin city and county leaders say they need more shared revenue. That's the money that goes to the state that is then shared with local governments. The formula has been frozen since 2004. We've lost almost 38% of our state shared funding over the last 23 years. Um, it's got, it has a huge impact on our daily daily day-to-day -day business, and uh, that's not even taking into, um, into consideration on inflation over that time. Watertown Mayor Emily McFarland adds they even considered turning off their street lights. Our bill for our street lights is over half a million dollars, and so what if we cut off, turn off every other street light? That gives us $250,000. Thankfully, we didn't have to do that. Now, Assembly Republicans say every single community will see at least a 10% boost. Right now in Wisconsin, when you spend a buck, the sales tax of the state is five cents. The new proposal is to take one of those pennies and put it into a fund for local communities. Republicans also announced $50 million in new money will go to counties, $176 million to towns, villages, and cities. That money will be restricted. It can only be used for police, fire, EMS, public works, and transportation. Republicans might also place other limits on those getting the money. Now, these proposals are not finalized right now. The, one of the Republicans in the Assembly says they hope to have their paperwork put together by early next week. And the Senate Majority Leader says the finer details are still being worked out. I just spoke with Waukesha's County Executive Paul Farrell, and he is very much critical of this proposal. He says it won't give Waukesha County enough money that they need to keep up with inflation. He also calls what's coming to Milwaukee a bailout. Reporting live at the Wisconsin Center, Jason Calvi, Fox 6 News. Thank you, Jason.